cell phone, prepaid cell phone minutes is used as currency in a lot of parts of Africa. Do you know when the white paper for ACOIN will be released? That's a great question because it's actually being released today. Is it? <laughs> What's up, YouTube? My name is Jackson. Today, I'm joined by musician turned crypto entrepreneur, Akon. How are you doing today, Akon? What's up, big man? <laughs> cool. So you are a world famous musician with two number one billboard hits, four triple platinum songs and numerous music and entertainment awards, including five Grammy nominations. Where and when did you first hear the words cryptocurrency and blockchain? It was 2008. I had an office in Atlanta. I flew out to New York and through a guy named Ken Wachowski, I made a guy, met a guy named Block Pierce mm -hmm. who was selling me on the idea. <laughs> That's how far back I go with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you were there. You were there right from the beginning then. Yeah, I was, I was there from the beginning for sure. That's cool. So, um, why, why, why have you decided to put some of your energy into cryptocurrency? I mean, was there a specific moment where you realized the opportunity and power of crypto? Um, I don't think it was a specific moment, but it was some specific moments that motivated me to want to do it even more, like really focus on it. But I think it was more so about me just understanding that the digital, like digital is the future. Because I saw how digital had to conform in the music business, how we went from analog into the digital world in music. And I saw the drastic, um, you could say, impact of the labels not being prepared for it and the impact that it hit because they weren't prepared for it. So when you look at the currency side of it, it's pretty much the same. It's going all digital and we're clearly not prepared for it, but we've been slowly kind of moving into it. But in Africa, we've been doing mobile exchanges and mobile monies and and, and, and transactions for, for years, you know? So it was something that I was pretty familiar with. Which people or companies do you admire within the space? From, from where have you drawn inspiration? Um, I think, you know, me pretty much, we kind of partnered with a lot of the companies that we really did admire in the space and felt, you know, that they were doing great things and kind of aligned with our, uh, you know, agenda, you know, like BitMinutes, for instance, who's doing great things in Africa you know, on the cell phone devices and transferring of, you know, currencies and, and, and of that nature. And then you also have Stella, who has built amazing platforms for the crypto world, who's really concentrated also in Africa as well. You know what I mean? Um, outside of, of course, of the Bitcoin system itself and how blockchain actually works. But those are like two companies that we really did admire. And that's why we partnered with them. Mm -hmm. What about them did you admire so much? I mean, you know, me think, I, I, I like companies that kind of think outside of the traditional developed world market, you know, and I thought that, you know, they really put more energy into developing markets and they built their platforms to actually be parallel with, the, you know, developing markets. And these are the kind of things that we needed for our platform because that's what we catered well, to was a developing markets that can actually work in the developing world. Mm -hmm. So you yourself have been developing your own cryptocurrency called Acoin for a couple of years now. And which as far as I understand, this is a utility token that will tokenize cell phone prepaid minutes. How did you come right. up with the idea for Acoin? Well, see, a lot of people don't really understand how uh, Africa itself works. And this is why a lot of our you know, platforms built on Africans and how they live on a day-to-day -day basis, because there we have so many um, currencies in Africa and a lot of them are unstable and most of them are untrusted. It got to the point where the day-to-day -day African people didn't even use the currency anymore. They were using their cell phone minutes and credits as a way of currency, trading cell phone minutes and credits for basic goods like produce, fish, fruits, and things on the market. So that came with a crazy idea that allowed us to even build what you call the atomic swap on the Acoin platform where you can utilize your uh, credits and turn those into acorns, which will give you the actual currencies that you can spend them in any market. Mm -hmm. um, so would you say that these prepaid cell phone minutes, are they like a sort of universal currency in Africa? Yeah, I mean, like cell phone, prepaid cell phone minutes is used as currency in mm -hmm. a lot of parts of Africa. You know, um, that, that was one of the things that propelled us to realize, man, the acorn is gonna be very needed because ultimately, you know, outside of the villages, you really can't trade 
you know, cell phone minutes for anything, you know. So we want to be able to utilize that same mindset and take advantage of that mechanism outside of Africa. So even when they leave the continent, they can be able to utilize all their credits and really be able to purchase real things. Mm -hmm. And do you know when the white paper for Acoin will be released? That's a great question because it's actually being released today. Woohoo! <laughs> So, yep, after this interview, man, you know, you can look it up and get all the information you need on it. And I thought it was a great thing because most people have do have a lot of questions. So the white paper will be able to clear up a lot of those questions. And, of course, I'll be in a lot of, you know, no, like events and, you know, uh, uh, blockchain summits and stuff like that to be able to answer any questions after the part, you know, white paper is read. Awesome. I can't wait to take a look at it. And so why exactly did you choose the Stellar blockchain to issue your token on? Well, I always felt Stella was really, you know, th th I love the way that their system is set up, you know, and I, they're really set up to really conform within these underdeveloped markets, especially specifically in Africa. You know, they've been doing a lot of great things. They teamed up and partnered with thousands and thousands of banks, you know, and of course, you know, they think a little bit outside of the box. And I always felt that, you know, they would be a great partner for us to have for sure. So you've said in the past that you would like Africa to become the United States of Africa or essentially unify Africa. The only way Africa can evolve in that way is that we have to be united. There has to be a united Africa. How do you see Acoin and cryptocurrency being used to unite Africa? Well, you know, my, our currency is really set up for empowering the entrepreneurs all throughout Africa. You know, and when you look at the you know, the population in Africa, you know, like literally between 65 and 75 percent of the African population is under 21, who's all very digitally savvy and understand the world of the digitized future. And I thought that ultimately that having that and me having that specific audience personally will clearly unite us. And I think the way to unite nations is through money. You know, I think when the money's set up and is well trusted and people can trade it amongst each other and utilize their gifts and have all their, you know, uh, uh, you can say uh, products that they can tokenize and be able to sell it amongst each other. That alone creates a unity that can fulfill the whole future of what Africa can become. Mm -hmm. And on top of this cryptocurrency, you're also planning to build uh, an entire city powered by wow. transactions with your cryptocurrency. The city will be called Akon yes. City and it will be located on 2,000 acres of land that the president of Senegal recently signed over to you. At, at what stage of development is this city project currently at? Oh, no, it's, it's actually at the very, very beginning. Um, we just acquired the land, and now we have, you know, technicians on the grounds doing all the feasibility studies on it. Uh, we also have the master plan being built out, so within the next month and a half, two months, we'll be able to, you know, really launch it and let everyone know exactly how the city's going to look before it's fully built. We also have a streaming um rendering of it so you can be able to go on youtube and see it in real time and go through you know the city itself and see exactly how it's going to look when it's, when it's done so we're really at the very early stages but i'm super excited because things are moving really fast mm -hmm. do you have a target date for when you think this might be completed uh right now it's, it's set to be done within five years um, but we're building it within five to ten depending on the technologies that might exist as we're building because we want to make sure that it's really you know uh fueled with all the top the latest technologies that's not anywhere. We want to be the first in everything with the city. How do you see this crypto powered city advancing your goal of a united Africa? Yeah, because, you know, this city is really more so a model that we want to be able to copy and paste throughout the continent. You know, every major African country, we want to be able to have an Akon city there. We're currently working on the Akon city in Kenya as we speak right now. And then, of course, we're going to do Gambia, Senegal, that we're currently starting with. And then we want to go into, um, you know, Nigeria and Ghana, Ethiopia, you know, where we have land as well. I mean, it's going to be it's going to be moving out pretty fast. I think once we get the first city going, it will definitely help to align all the other partners to be able to invest in all the other countries that we want to do. It in. Mm -hmm. where, where are you getting the funding for all of these projects? Uh, a lot of the funding is all private funding, um, partly funding from the government because they're also partners within the city itself. Uh, but I think we're going to get a lot of more, we're going to get more private funding than anything. Um, of course, the government will hold the initial funding and getting that the first phase of funding going because they will be the ones building the basic infrastructure, you know, like the streets and the roads and, you know, the things like that that you have to have, actually. But I think once we start moving on, I think the crypto world itself is going to be in the digital world and younger generation, 
I think we're going to kind of, I think we're going to bring in a lot of funding for that. Thank you everyone for watching. That was Akon. My name is Jackson. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and hit that subscribe button. And guys, always remember to hodl. Cointelegraph. Like, subscribe, and hodl.